Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you are finding this series of Java 8 useful. If you have any doubts, you can connect us through the comment section. In our previous video, we understood the unary operator interface and its usage. Where should we use the unary operator instead of the functions? We also covered the primitive variants of the unary operator. Coming back to this video, so I hope you remember the difference between function and by function. Let's recall it. So a function is a functional interface that takes two arguments, one as the input type and the other as the return type. So here t is the input to the function while r is the return type. Now let's see by function. A by function is also a functional interface that takes three argument. Two are the input and the last one is the return type. So here t and u are the input to the by function while r is the return type. In our previous video, we saw that whenever there is a requirement that the input type and the return type of a function are same, then we should go for a special type of interface called as unary operator. Somewhat similar kind of case is there. So whenever you have a requirement that both the input type of the by function and the return type of the by function are same, then we should not use the function. Instead, we should go for a special interface called as binary operator. Now let's understand this with a small example. Suppose we want to write a by function that takes two strings as the input and return a single string that is obtained by concatenating the two input string. So here we have a class concat strings. Inside this we have a main method where we have defined two strings s1 and s2. Now our task is to write a by function to concatenate these two strings. So we'll write something like this. By function of string, string and string, combine string that will take str1 and str2 and will return str1.concatenate str2 as the result. Then we'll simply apply this function to the strings we have and we'll print it to the console. Now notice here that we have the input type as the string, the other input type is also the string and also the return type is string. That means both the in, both my input type and the return type are same here. In such cases, we should not go for the by function. Instead, we should go for the special interface called as binary operator. So now let's see what is this binary operator. So, a binary operator is the child interface of by function interface only. This is also a part of java.util.function package and it's a functional interface. In Java, the binary operator functional interface is a specialized type of by function that operates on two operands of the same type and returns a result of the same type. The binary operator interface defines a single abstract method named apply which will take two operands and returns a result. This method is used to specify the function that will be applied to the operands. What distinguish it from the normal by function is that both its argument and the return type are of the same type. Now let's understand the syntax of binary operator. So a binary operator is defined like this. It is annotated with at the rate functional interface annotation. It extends the by function interface. It contains only one abstract method that is apply which it inherits from the by function. However, from its method signature t apply t comma t, it is clear that it takes an two input parameter and returns a result of the same type. So here t is the type of input to the parameter and t is the return type of the function. So it is defined as public interface binary operator t extends by function t comma t comma t. Now let's see the same example using the binary operator. So here we have a class which has a main method inside it. We will define two strings s1 and s2. Then instead of writing a by function, I will write a binary operator. So a binary operator of string combine string str1 comma str2 which will give me str1 dot concatenating str2. So here this binary operator will take two input strings and will return a string as the result. 
now we'll print it to the console so let's see this code into the actions so here we have a class test binary operator which has a main method as inside it and then we have defined two strings s1 and s2 then we have defined a binary operator of string that means it will accept two strings and it will return a string so combined strings will take two input strings and will return the concatenated strings so we'll just print it to the console so let me just compile it and let me execute it so here you can see we have concatenated result of the two strings now observe that you want to use the same binary operator for primitive types also so the java binary operator will accept only objects so whenever you have a requirement where you want to use the primitive type then better go for the primitive versions of the binary operator so the primitive variants of the binary operator are int binary operator long binary operator and double binary operator all these interfaces does not take any type parameter as the return type and the input both are same so here you can see int binary operator takes two input of type int returns a value of type int and here the method name is also apply as int because of the return type similarly long binary operator takes input of type long returns a value of type long and the method name here is apply as long and lastly double binary operator takes input of type double and returns a value of type double also the method name here is apply as double so this was it for today today we understood another predefined functional interface that is binary operator in our upcoming video we'll learn how to use the double colon operator in java so i hope you like this video so do like share and subscribe to our channel stay tuned for yet another videos on java 8 till then take care bye bye and thank you for watching